Japanese divers wrestle with bottlenose dolphins, selecting some to be sold into captivity, others to be killed for meat. I'm kind of shocked that it's still going on, especially after uh, the Cove and this film Blackfish that just came out. And as long as people keep buying tickets to dolphin shows, this is going to keep happening. So you have the power to stop this. Breaking news, despite global outrage, the sea running red again in Taiji, Japan, at the infamous cove. About 30 striped dolphins were brutally killed in the cove just hours ago. That is what Sea Shepherd, the amazing activist group, is telling us. This concludes a brutal week in Japan. You know, beyond today's death toll, at least 40 other dolphins were senselessly slaughtered. More than 50 others in that same roundup sold into captivity, including this one beautiful, rare, white albino dolphin that the world named Angel. Some say she could be worth half a million dollars. I say a lot more priceless in the sea. Angel's mother was so distraught that she was kidnapped from her that on Lookers say the mother committed suicide, plunging into the depths and never resurfacing. News of the first roundup incited global outrage. Yet the slaughter continues. That Red Sea is blood. Outraged citizens demanding an end to this brutality on social media. We're listening to you. Uh, ambassador to Japan, the U.S. ambassador to Japan, Caroline Kennedy express concern about the inhumanness of the dolphin hunt, the unimaginable cruelty of Japan's dolphin hunt, exposed in the Oscar-winning documentary The Cove from Lionsgate Films. The time they get to the lagoon, they are totally freaked out, stressed out to the max. God. God. <laughs> Hayden Panettiere, the actress, sobbing over it. Straight out to Melissa Segal from the organization Sea Shepherd. Melissa, you have been at the Cove in Taiji, Japan, for a long time uh, doing heroic work. You've been bearing witness to the slaughter. Tell us what you have seen today. Well, once again, the uh, dolphin massacre continues here in Taiji. Uh, sea Shepherd Cove Guardians were on the ground documenting and live streaming all the killers' actions uh, this early this morning when uh, a pod of pan tropical spotted dolphins was spotted uh, south and driven into the cove where for approximately 40 to 45 were brutally slaughtered and another six taken captive. Describe the terror that these animals experience, because I've been told even those who were—they said, oh, they're going to release some, then they released them. A lot of them were injured, starving, and terrified. Many predicted they, too, would die. And then right after they released those, which some might say was a PR stunt, they go out in boats and start hunting again, Melissa. This is a never-ending process. This is almost this happens almost daily. These boats go out at sunrise and find pods, you know, almost every day. Uh, the dolphins that are released are often injured. They're separated from their families. Uh, we often find several washed along the shore that just didn't make it. And these are often babies that are separated from their mothers and are not able to nurse. Dolphins nurse up to several years. Um, and, you know, being separated from their mothers, too traumatic, too, they're too exhausted, and they're dehydrated. Um, driving them back out to the ocean is not always uh, a, a happy thing for dolphins. Well, I've got to tell you, you are doing heroic work. You're my former neighbor from Marina Del Rey, California. We used to walk our dogs together. You were so upset about this. You left your world as a nurse to go to Taiji, Japan, and bear witness. You are my hero. On the other side, I'm going to tell you how Russell Simmons is, we are efforting having him come on the show. I know he's upset about this and talk to us on Monday and what you can do. Uh, go to the dodo.com. It's, it's a new news website devoted to animal rights issues and it is uh, breaking news on this constantly. It will tell you how to write to the prime minister of Japan to object. Do something. These dolphins can't speak for themselves. We are being told that Japan is well aware of the global outrage. You can write to the Prime Minister of Japan. Go to seashepherd.org. Find out what you can do. There are change.org petitions. There's the White House petition. You can also go to the dodo.com, a new website. Speak up, because like little Rico here, those dolphins cannot speak for themselves.